Hi, I'm Nathan Jones. I want to welcome you to a new season of Dead Down Winds Wild Extreme. There's a little difference in the name this season, but there is no difference in the hardcore aspect all of you have come to expect here at Wild Extreme. You're definitely going to see me still sitting in my double bull, but this year I've got a new weapon in my arsenal, that being Dead Down Wind. I was introduced to the Dead Down Wind product line last season and what a difference it made. Dead Down Wind, when used properly, has definitely increased shot opportunity with my bow. Throughout this series, I will do my best to help educate all of you in the use of the products that we use here at Dead Down Wind's Wild Extremes because I want all of you to experience the same level of success that we do. And I hope the pieces of hunts you guys experience with me today will do nothing but whet your appetite and make you want to see the shows in their entirety when they run later this season. We have everything this season from turkeys to elk. And I believe we actually have some African hunts for some of you hardcore guys. But don't despair, I have not forgot you whitetail freaks. We've got you a double dose of whitetail coming as well. This is Dead Down Winds Wild Extremes. Dead Down Winds Wild Extremes is being brought to you by Dead Down Wind, the leader in scent prevention. It's not just luck. Chateau Bearden and Volunteer Cabin Rentals. Now you have a second home. Double Bull Archery, home of the Dark Archer. Martin Archery making the most accurate bows for over 50 years. That is wild extreme. Yes! Hi, I'm Matt Moore, and I would like to thank you for making Dead Down Win number one. Hi, I'm Mike Woolery. I want to thank you for making Dead Down Win the number one scent prevention product in the world. Hi, I'm Nathan Jones. Thank you for making Dead Down Win the number one scent prevention product on the market. Thanks for making Dead Down Wind the number one scent prevent product in the world. Log on to deaddownwind.com. This segment of Dead Down Wind's Wild Extremes is being brought to you by Dead Down Wind, the leader in scent prevention. It's not just luck. This last spring, the Wild Extremes crew had an incredible season in the pursuit of turkeys. And this is just one of the featured hunts you will be tagging along on. Crew member Brian Guffey accepted Ralph Reynolds' invitation to hunt at Prairie Land Outfitters. And on this hunt, you will be sitting with Brian in the double bull while Brian tries his luck with an Austin and Halleck muzzleloader. This was a bird that we wrestled with for a couple hours that morning. The bird would gobble frequently and strut back and forth on the ridge above us, but we just couldn't seem to say what the bird wanted to hear. And then suddenly, the huge bird changed his mind and came strutting right into black powder range.
couldn't see for the smoke for a minute. <laughs> I believe we you smoked got him. You a great bird, Brian. And now here's a hunt that will give you another reason to be hunting out of a double bull block. This is a hunt that you can live vicariously through me at Brian Guffey's High Point Lodge. Or if you would rather experience it for yourself, just book one. As we walked the blind that morning in the dark, we could see lightning hitting the ground in the distance, but decided to continue on with the hunt anyway. Smart, huh? Just as daylight arrived, the storm moved in overhead and the heavens opened up. Our choices were, A, we could either walk the half mile back to the truck in this deluge, or B, sit in the double bull, which was keeping the majority of the water off of us anyway, and have a chance to take a turkey. We chose B. When it rains, turkeys usually seek open fields to feed in, and knowing this is another reason why I chose to just stay put. Oh, there's a, there's a town coming in the field. The big bird eyeballed our decoy suspiciously, and when it appeared he wasn't coming any closer, I decided to finish the game. Yes! <laughs> Guys, do you believe that? That bird, what an awesome bird right here at High Point was coming into us. He wasn't going to come any closer. That was, it was that or nothing, guys. This season, we had some great pronghorn hunts in South Dakota. And on this hunt, crew member Matt Owen tries to take his first ever pronghorn. Almost immediately, the first goat appeared out of the fog like an apparition and slowly, cautiously walked toward us. Matt could only sit watching and hope that a buck would soon be following. Just an hour later, Matt's wish came true. Oh, there's a buck, there's a buck. He's a good, he's a good buck. He's, he's tall. He's a good buck. That was awesome. That happened so fast. This segment of Dead Down Winds Wild Extremes is being brought to you by Volunteer Cabin Rentals and Chateau Bearden. Now you have a second home. You must be Chris. I can tell by the glasses and the short pants. <laughs> How are you doing, man? Good, good to see you. Well, we are going to do something I've never done before, and that's fall out of a boat in the water while it's moving. No. We're going to shoot some hit fish. By about a <laughs> yeah. We just still got to determine whether we're fishing or hunting. We're shooting boats. Oh, no, we're killing. We're, we're, killing. we're killing. We're killing. We're killing. I got an invite from Chris Brackett to join him on a hunt for silver carp, and I think that the action in this sneak peek will speak for itself. I have never had as much fun on the water, ever. Silver carp have the unique trait of jumping out of the water when sensing strong vibrations. So as the boat would approach a school, the air would instantly be filled with writhing fish. And if you're waiting with your bullet full draw, good luck hitting one of these silver missiles. Another male. 
You will want to see more of this as Chris and I at times fight for life and limb. Actually, these fish do pose danger to people who are using the waters for recreation. I can't. You got it? That was That perfect. is a freaking monster. Woo! We got to go back to him. He's, he's, uh, hopefully. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brother, that is a monster. Dude, you hit him ten Holy ten. cow. You hit him ten rings. Oh. <laughs> you guys, you guys in the summertime, right here, Bracket Outdoors, I'm telling you, it don't, doesn't get better than this. Screw golf. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a cliche, it doesn't get any better than this, but in the summer, there is nothing as intense, as extreme. No, no. Wild extreme. No. Well, how was your trip? Good, good. Well, good deal. What, what's your lethal distance? I'm deadly at 30 and 35. Perfect. 40s, right in there. 30, we'll, we'll have you, hopefully 20 to 25 is where I hope. We have goats right on top of you. Ann was our slamming goats with Nathan contest winner. She had worked hard to win the contest, so now it was my job to work hard and get an antelope in front of her. Ann was totally stoked about the hunt, having never taken an antelope with archery equipment, and it was going to be equally exciting for me to be able to help someone else achieve a milestone in their life. The weather could not have been more perfect for the hunt. The temperature hovered around the mid-90s and it was dry. When you have weather like that, you have antelope looking for some place to drink, and we were on one of the few water holes in this area. What do you think now? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm ready to jump for joy and scream. <laughs> holy yeah. crap. I told you guys, holy crap. <laughs> this segment of Dead Down Wind's Wild Extremes is being brought to you by Double Bowl Archery, home of the Dark Archer. This season, we will be going along on a few hunts with the wild men from Double Bowl Archery. On this hunt, we'll be sitting in the Double Bowl alongside Keith Bean as he goes ground level with a great mule deer buck. sitting here and I had to sit there and look for a spot and the wind's coming out of the west 
and I was like, how am I not going to get busted here? Fall is absolutely my favorite time of year, and the West has always been a special place for me to hunt. During this time of year, some of my most exciting memories have been created. There is nothing like watching the change in the fall foliage as it virtually happens around you and hear the bugles of rutting bull elk echo off of the mountains. As you will see, this is a hunt that could have never happened without the use of dead downwind. On our first scouting trip, we ran right into a herd of elk, but it would be the next afternoon before we could take advantage of the opportunity. bull bugling over this ridge right here as soon as these cows below me get out of here we're gonna we're gonna move up a little bit and this actually this snow helps us uh, the wind it, it's laid down it's picked up it's laid down back and forth we're supposed to get some heavy uh, storms tonight and uh, uh oh there comes a bull right there he's coming down to us i'm gonna get uh, if i get five more yards i think i get a shot he's coming right down He's coming right, he's coming right down. We're gonna make this one count. He's coming right back to where these cows were bedded to scent check. The errant wind carried the intermittent snow squalls directly at the approaching bull. This is where you have to rely solely on dead downwind. We got a bull down here in Colorado. Thank you, God. Guys, I don't know what to say. You know, they say it's... I've heard it said before that it's too cold to snow. Well, I'd like to know what that temperature is, because it is... Uh, 10 below zero when we got in the tree and you can look at look at it slamming Saskatchewan one of my favorite places on this earth to hunt white-tailed deer but know this it is a place like none other when you go be prepared for the absolute worst nature has to offer and be thankful for the days that she offers you a slight reprieve I received an invite from Ivan Abbott who outfits the Pelican Reserve in Chittick Lake to come up for a hunt and am I ever glad we went. Pelican Lake Outfitters is now toward the top of my list as places I have to hunt whitetails every year. Guys, right here, I have an habit right here at Pelican Lake. I don't know if you're proud of that deer, but I am. <laughs> what a dream deer. And I'm telling you what, guys, we did it with a buck. Hey, I want to thank all of you for being along with us today right here on Dead Down Winds Wild Extremes. And be sure and join us every week because Dead Down Winds Wild Extremes will be bringing you the best in hunting entertainment week after week. You'll experience eyeball to eyeball encounters with a huge herd of elk as me and my cameraman Matt Owen crawl right in the middle of them, all because we use Dead Down Wind products. You will also see the Double Bull Blind work its magic on long beards as well as a host of other animals. I truly want all of you to be just as successful as we are. I'll see all of you next time where the slamming will continue, right here on Dead Down Winds Wild Extremes. Dead Down Winds Wild Extremes has been brought to you by Dead Down Wind, the leader in scent prevention. It's not just luck. Double Bull Archery, home of the Dark Archer. 
Chateau Verden, and Volunteer Cabin Rentals. Now you have a second home. Martin Archery, making the most accurate bows for over 50 years. Man, we got us a monster. <laughs> this has been a Wild Serenade.